Mastering Group Discussions, Roles and Responsibilities Hello, dear learners. Today, we are going to delve into the fascinating world of group discussions. We will specifically focus on understanding the roles and responsibilities of participants. Recognizing the roles and responsibilities during a discussion is crucial and can make you a more effective communicator in English. Firstly, let's talk about why group discussions are important. They are an integral part of learning and working in an English-speaking environment. These sessions allow us to exchange ideas, formulate solutions, and understand multiple perspectives. In any discussion, the key is to ensure productive dialogue where everyone feels heard. There are several roles that individuals may play in a group discussion. Let's identify these and understand their responsibilities. 1. The leader or facilitator. This person guides the conversation, keeping the discussion on track and ensuring everyone gets an opportunity to speak. 2. The contributor. Contributors bring new ideas and perspectives to the discussion. They are the primary source of content during the discussion. 3. The summarizer. They help to summarize the main points that have been discussed, ensuring everyone is on the same page. 4. The clarifier. The clarifier asks questions to clear any doubts, helping to make sure everyone understands the topics being discussed. 5. The encourager. This role is often taken up by someone who encourages all members to participate and share their ideas. Remember, an individual might take on more than one role during the discussion. It's crucial to understand these roles and adapt as needed to ensure a productive and meaningful conversation. Now, let's dive into the general responsibilities of participants in a group discussion. 1. Active listening. Every participant must listen attentively to others' viewpoints. 2. Respectful interaction. Participants should always respect other members and their opinions. 3. Relevance. Stick to the topic of discussion. Irrelevant points can divert the focus of the group. 4. Conciseness. Be precise and concise. Long-winded speeches can disengage other participants. 5. Constructive criticism. Offer and accept criticism in a positive manner. Understanding these responsibilities is crucial for effective participation in a group discussion. That's it for today, dear learners. We've covered the roles and responsibilities in group discussions, which will help you be a more effective communicator. Remember, group discussions are not about winning an argument, but rather about learning, growing, and building on the shared knowledge. We hope this lesson is helpful, and we encourage you to practice these skills in your next group discussion. Happy learning!